Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Hello everyone. I'm here to assist you in your preparation for the UGP, FYP or PSM presentation. Common errors in your project presentation. Wrong choice of color for text and background. Small font for text. We need 18 uh, size minimum. But because text do appear smaller with online presentation, larger than 18 is preferable. Crowded slides. A poor first impression. You are unprepared. You speak too softly. But you can avoid all this. See here. Wrong choice of color for text. Wrong choice of color for background. Crowded small font for text. Let's start again. How about this? If you insist on having a background, so you can have such as this. Do not forget your metric card number. Or simply just this with a uh, plain uh, colored background. What's wrong with these slides? See, the words here is I think 18 size helvetica. However, there are plenty of space around that. You should fully utilize the space. Same goes here. Too small. Too much space space waste, wasted. You have to strategize. Let's have a look at the marks allocation for your final year project, your project Sarjana Muda or your undergraduate project presentation. Yes, 20%. Subject knowledge, 10%. Depth of study, 15%. Content of presentation, 10%. Analysis and results interpretation, quality of slides, voice and eye contact, attire and finally response to questions. A total of 20%. Where are the rest of the marks? Well, 20% goes to the draft, the report you submitted to your supervisor. The final year project implementation, which includes the interim, uh, has 10%. The technical paper, 10%. And yes, the powerful moderators, two of them each, uh, will give you 20%. So, this is within your power to control the quality of the slides you present the voice and eye contact, and attire. Where to start? Okay. Planning is very important. First, you collect all the materials that you feel you want to present. You select those that could possibly represent your research. Your supervisor may assist. And fit the materials you have selected into 15, 20, minute, 20 slides, perhaps more, depending on your pace. Yeah, so your slides must contain, contain subject knowledge, depth of study, content, you know, main content, analysis and results interpretation. Choose appropriate aids to present your data. Prepare charts, graph, tables. Take note, many weeks of work has only 15 minutes or so of time to present. Talking about your research within the 15 minutes is not the same as writing the thesis about it. There should be a short problem statement that leads to the need for your study. There must be some theory, the method used that leads to the results that you had obtained. And you must highlight the data that you process, that you get, and the outcomes of your study. How do you get them? Uh, are they as expected? And what are the trends? Are they similar to what others have reported in the past? How are you going to deliver this presentation? You can memorize your slides, but you may forget and uh, at the crucial moment too. You want to read from your thesis or report? It provides security. May sound boring though because you're reading a technical report. You may use cue cards or other memory aids. Topic outline, key phrase outlined and mark where to change your slides. And how do you present your final year project too or your PSM or, or UGP? This is a standard way. First, you tell them what you're going to tell them. This is outline of your talk for the 15 minutes. Then you tell them, you give the talk, the problem statement, the methods, brief and concise, objective and scopes, results and interpretation, expectation. And then you tell them what you have told them. This is a summary of what you have achieved in your final year project. What does it mean to tell them what you are going to tell them? This is just an outline with the introduction, problem statement, objective or objectives, scopes, 
methodology, whether it's experimental setup, numerical formulations, results and discussion, conclusions. These are the outline. Then you tell them. What you tell them? You have a short background, the issues that leads to your study, not the full literature review. You have done this in your UGP1 or FYP1 or PSM1. Those there are significant backstory to your study. Then you present your problem statement, your objectives and scopes, the theory, the mathematics that govern your problem and how you solve them, the methodology. And finally, the results and your interpretation of what you have achieved. Yes, the issue or issues, yeah, from general to specific to finally your final year project. You have to have objectives, one or more according to your supervisor. The scopes, whether you are designing, fabricating, testing, validating, or analyzing. Yeah? Then you tell them about the theory, whether you are solving you, your final year project involves a process, a component, or a system. The physical domain, the schematic domain, the model, the equations, the assumptions. Yes, remember, you have only 15 minutes to tell your story. You tell them, the methodology that you have utilized to achieve your objectives. Remember, this is not a thesis, but a presentation. Then you tell them more, your results and discussion. Of course, where do you put so much in 15 minutes? Planning is vital. Planning your talk checklist. A few weeks ahead, you should have prepared the materials uh, to be put in your 15 minute presentation. A couple of weeks ahead and find three, four, three to five days ahead and finally the day of the talk itself. Attire. Let's have a look at what you have control over. How you dress up for an online final year project presentation. As if you are attending a job interview as an engineer, neat hair, a long short sleeve shirt, presentable top, wearing a tie for males is optional, no loose hair for females. Pin it. Slide, slide, slides. 15% of it. An academic presentation is generally dry, so you should utilize colors, simple animations if possible, a short video if needed. Yeah. But colors, some of the colors may appear great on your desktop, but they do not appear as good with an online presentation. So check them out, have a practice with your friends. Now choose the most effective mode of presenting your data, make them clear. You have numerous options out there, charts, histograms, graphs, tables. Don't just stick to one, explore. Slides, again, use simple, short and concise terms and sentences. Cite your references when using tables, values, figures, the sources. Yeah? Know where things are in your slide, especially later during Q&A, you may quickly refer to them to explain. Start a preparing early so that you can improve on your slides. Have contingency slides for Q&A, perhaps some of those that you have used in your uh, first part, in your UGP1, PSM1 or FYP1. Don't overuse tables in your slides. Now, instead of the simple table, you may use this pyramid. Isn't it better? Don't use poorly scanned figures. Don't use figures with small unreadable fonts. Who is this uh, slide for? Don't put too many words on the screen. Even I can hardly read this on my desktop. Consider this and this. Which one is better? How do you control your voice and eye contact? You attend other presentations. There are many on YouTube. Yeah? Identify strengths, weaknesses in people's presentations. Speak to the camera. Avoid reading from slides on the screen even if the camera is just above it. Practice in front of friends, a mirror, and read your speed to fully utilize the 15 minutes provided. Be polite. Greet the audience. Introduce yourself. Concentrate on your presentation. Focus. Use simple English. Keep number of words small. Manage your presentation time and do utilize the 15 minutes. Do not go over 15 minutes. 14 to 15 is great. Under 14, then you're under utilizing the time given. Remember, 70% to 90% impact comes from how not so much as what. This well organized because you plan, clear because you plan and you practice, within the allocated time because you practice. Not too detailed, not too technical. Why not too technical? 
because not all the examiners are familiar with the research area of your supervisor. But enough uh, adequate information for them to understand the fundamentals. This is enhanced by effective use of visual aids. Yes. Typical mistakes that I have seen so far inadequate information presented, lack substance, poor time management, you know, you exceed the 15 minutes, did not understand the fundamentals, especially during QA, and cannot respond to QA. Now, you have told them what you were going to tell them, the outline. You have described your research from your uh, problem statement, your objective and scopes, your theory, your research methodology, and then your results and discussion, your, interpre your interpretation of the results. Now you tell them what you have told them, the conclusion. Have you achieved the objectives? How successful were you in achieving those objectives? Summarize your results in short and concise manner. For instance, the design and fabrication of a new system has been completed. The improvement in the performance is higher by 20% compared to a previous system. With better equipment, better results could have been obtained. Now that's a no-no. Questions? No, nope. you do not want the panel to ask you questions. Thank you is enough. Now, a good presentation is contributed by the subject matter, how much you have, the effort in planning and in practicing, yeah, and supervisors' inputs. These are my references. I have given this presentation, similar presentation, since before 2010. Thank you, everyone.